Hello once again, this is Crote, and today is another beautiful day to play Banished. This is an older game, came out in 2014, but until my computer gets upgraded, uh, I'd like to do more ARC videos, but uh, we're going to need a little bit of an upgrade, because man, ARC is lagging me the hell out when I try to record it, and I really don't want to turn the settings down to uh, be able to record because then it looks really terrible. So we are going to try this. Uh, we have one mod which is Colonial Charter 1.71 and it adds uh, quite a bit. So we're going to do that. We're going to take a new game. Actually, I think I have some save games. I'm going to get rid of these. going to start over. Okay, let's name this Croteville. Uh, we got a bunch of choices here. Uh, the original came with Valleys and Mountains, and now we have all these with the uh, mod. So, let's do <laughs> Waterworld is terrible. But let's try to make it a little harder. Let's go with, uh, let's try Red Desert. And terrain size. Uh, we might as well go very large. And climate. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, making this harsh climate is terrible. Uh, warm arid is perfect, but... Oh man, I don't know, very harsh, very mild, no. Let's do warm arid, no, slow, no snow, low rain. Well, it is the desert anyway, so that sounds right. Okay, disasters, we definitely want to turn those on. And let's see, we want to do the shipwreck one. Where is it at? There we go, shipwreck hard, shipwreck El Dorado hard. I wonder what the difference is. I don't know. But let's do... Yeah, let's do El Dorado Hard. That'll work. Okay. Let this load in right quick. Your country has rested all of their colonial ambitions on your venture. Your job is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens. By the way, this is a city-building strategy game, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I, I do enjoy the loading screen. Hiding chicken eggs, creating unique snowflakes, building trade routes. Hiding chicken eggs again. Creating iron deposits. Weaving initial clothing. Planting apple seeds. Removing poisonous mushrooms. Planting seedlings. It's carving lakes and rivers, it's like it's getting the map ready for us. It's a nice nice way to make the loading screen uh, slightly more entertaining, but I will be back once it's done loading. Okay, we're back. And one thing I'm going to do real quick, pause everything. Uh, I have played this game before. And usually what I do first is I pause the game, I scroll out, take a look around. Actually, there is a little map here. Let's see, where's the map at? Okay, so I can see where we are here. A nice big pond up here. We got this river. Actually, I'm going to run up here real quick and see. Uh, that's kind of cool. I do like the red desert. That's pretty neat. Uh, that is a landlocked uh, pond there. And we got the river here. Well, since we are right next to the river, we're probably going to start building right around here because the river provides so many things we need. So, since I have played this before, I do know kind of how things work. And one mistake that I used to make was see how they all have a little house over their head it means they don't have a place to live 
So one mistake I've made in the past was I would build a bunch of houses first, but that's not what you want to do. You want to get food production going first. Uh, let's see, there is a... Yeah, I want these up. General stats. We got 1,200 food, 100 firewood, no lo 20 tools, 20 coats. Okay, and this one, we do want this lo event log, it's very useful. Uh, another thing, oh, well, let's do this first. Professions, I like this one. Yeah, right here, we have eight adults, zero students, six children. And what's the other one I want? Um, oh, I want to... Limits placed on resource production. This is something else. Uh, they start out real low. <laughs> and this means if they get 200 logs, they'll stop collecting logs. And I don't want that to happen. I want them to stop when I tell them to stop. So I'm going to add a couple zeros to all these. Okay, now we're set. So the first thing, let's look in the boat. 100 firewood, 1200 potatoes, coats and tools. And it's 37% full. So one thing, one thing that's nice is while it's paused, you can set up a bunch of tasks in advance that you want them to do. So what I'm going to do is close that one. We're going to go down to resource production. No, wait, that's not what I wanted. Um, here we go. Removal and destruction. So we want to move in a thiswardly direction. So, we want to remove... Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> well, first of all, let's collect a bunch of wild food. So we'll do that. They'll go out and get a bunch of food first. And then we want to get trees. Oh, wait. First of all, I want a storage area. One of these. Stockpile. And we are going to put this over here. See what'll happen is if they go cut down a tree they'll carry it all the way back to here first and I don't want them to do that. So I'm gonna put, man you know I wish this mountain wasn't here. Actually I think we're gonna come up and around this way. So we'll build a 10 by 10 stockpile here and then go back down to removal get some more food in this area and then we want to take trees out and actually we want to start trees just in this little area first and then we'll take stone and iron in that area too and they will put it right here so let's get to work Play. Go do your stuff, guys. I'm going to speed you up a little. Okay, and immediately we want to get food going. And the first thing we want is, yeah, the theme sets. There is this dock set that has a bunch of cool little tiny buildings that are great for starting out. So we want to get... Uh, fishery. Next, I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what it looks like. I'm gonna rotate that. Perfect, right there. Oh, so we got lag in this game too. Great. Okay, build me a fishery there. see where the red is that is where the other one is so we want this one right next to it we get two fisheries get a water scavenger right here 
and that'll get some nice, uh, you know what, actually, hold on, fish, yeah, we shouldn't have done that other fishery. out my controls. Okay, so I want to remove uh, structures. But I gotta figure out which one I want to get rid of. So the best way to do that is let me pick up a house. No, that's not what I want. Um, storage, no, actually, let me go back into theme sets, okay, so, wait, where's my stuff, okay, here we go, so that's probably the first fishery, so I want to take out this one, so, that is right in front of here. Ah, I'm moving around too much. No, I didn't want to remove resources. There we go. Hopefully I hit the right one there. <laughs> uh, let's go see how they're doing. They got this flattened out. They're starting to store things on it. Yep. Uh, food is still hovering around uh, 1,200. Uh, there it went up a little, so they are collecting that food. I need to put a builder, put two on building to get these uh, fisheries going. The next thing I want is a hunting cabin and a gatherer. Now, the gatherer... I don't think the, yeah, the dock one I don't think has those, so we gotta go into resource production. No, this is forester than logging. We want food production. Okay, here we go. We want raw food gathering. We want the hunting cabin. Which we'll put right there. See, it's got a big circle around show where it hunts. And then we want a gatherer's hut as well. And there's the hunting cabin. We can actually put these right next to each other. Okay. And let's see. Now, the first thing we want to build town arrival. This will help us see what's going on right from the start. And I'm going to put it down here on the, by the dock. Eventually we'll build a town hall which will take the place of this, but until we get it, that's what we're going to use. Okay, and let me see. I want... What do I want next? Oh, I want to get a chopper going. Get to the chopper, which is resource production, forages and logging. No, that is not what I want. Find, yeah, here we go. Woodcutter or chopper. The chopper is small, 12 and 4 stone, 24 and 8. Actually, I think two guys can run the woodcutter. But uh, we'll just get a chopper for, oh, you know what, never mind, screw that, I know what we need. We need to get into theme sets. Back to the dock. We want reeds, we're reed, reed farm. Reeds are amazing. <laughs> there are so many things you can make with reeds. We're going to put one there. Wait, is that our fishing thing? I think it is. I'm 
want to get three reed farms right there. And then we want a... We should put a, get a storage too while we're at it. So they don't have to keep going back to the boat. Put that there. And then we want the workshop. Where is the workshop at? Dock workshop, there we go. This thing makes a bunch of stuff that we'll need early on. And we're gonna put it right... Right there. Okay, let's get some stuff going on here. Let's put a couple more on building. Hopefully they'll get to work building stuff. 20 logs, 38 stone, not doing too bad. Food, 1380, still not too bad there. I think I'm going to get some more wild gathering going. I collect all that wild food. Yeah, that'll work. And then hopefully get to work building. Uh, we're on 5x already. It sure seems like they're going slower. I don't want to put it up on 10x because terrible things happen when you're on 10x. <laughs> Unless you're really prepared for it. So let's just going down. Uh, lag. Man, we just cannot escape the lag, can we? What's this guy doing? Oh, uh, you're bringing stuff over. There must be... Yeah, we're building. Bringing logs over. get to building. Then we can start thinking about housing. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to make a chopper as well. And I'm probably going to put it right next to the wood pile. I'll put a regular wood cutter. bad on the getting some stuff piled up here. Man, I hate that they gotta keep coming back here. That's filling up. Oh, they're putting stone in there? That sucks. Put the logs and stone out here in the outdoor storage thing. Okay, I'm gonna get fishery. I'm gonna, there's a increased priority.
hopefully that'll speed things up a little. so we can start getting fish. Oh, and you know what? They're going to carry that fish all the way back to the boat. So we got to get this warehouse going too. As soon as I remember where I put it. There we go. So I'm going to put the priority on this one too. Sign one to fish. So we have a fisherman. And after they start catching, we will be able to click this one and it will show how much they caught. It looks like he's already catching. Look at that, seven fish. Wow. He's a much better fisherman than I am. Get the water scavenger going. Yeah, food's starting to dwindle. Bringing the logs over. Get that storage going. Another thing is, if you build roads, they move faster along the road, but if you build roads this early on, it wears their tools down, and uh, it sucks when everybody has broken tools. It makes them do stuff a lot slower. Okay, let's get a water scavenger. One up there. Uh, looks like one of our children has become an adult and is working as a laborer. All right, we're already building the is that the hunting cabin. That's a good start. storage done, that'll help, so they don't have to go back to the boat so much. Of course, they probably will. Late autumn. I wonder if it's going to get cold here in the desert during the winter. Who knows? Yeah, the hunting cabin, they will kill deer and ducks and we'll get uh, meat and feathers and hide which we can use the feathers and hide to make clothing and stuff wow, that's really coming along lag god I hate the lag food stocked up. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got this built. Cool. I don't 
know if they're building it. The thing this is good for is, see, I could look, I could look here and see what we got here, and then I go over to the boat and see what we got there. But this thing will show everything that is stored everywhere. I think. Except I don't think it shows what's stored inside houses. Come on, finish it up, bub. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now we can look at inventory. Let's see, we got 790 potatoes, and most of those are in the boat, probably. And then stone, logs. Yeah, it also shows what's on the little outdoor storage as well. So that's good. Uh, we got some more, oh wait, oh, reed farms, nice. Let's get two people doing reeds. And I'm gonna drop a builder for a laborer. I'm not even sure what else we had going on. Well, it's time to get, I think we got, well, I want them to get that workshop going before I, Build the um, okay woodcutter good. The one in gathering. Go down to two builders. Since we just about have everything built anyway. Yeah, as soon as we get the workshop done, then we can make tools and firewood out of reeds. Yeah, I'm going to turn that third reed one off for now. Uh, I closed my... That window gets closed a lot. <laughs> the professions. Okay, once I get this built, We'll they'll be doing the woodcutter, and then I'm gonna start making some houses. Let's see, good on firewood, rough tools, log and iron ore. We gotta get some iron ore first. Oh, good, lots of kids are growing up. Cool. So let's get this iron right here. Let's put a rush on it with increased priority. There you go, buddy. Speed up. Okay. Once they get that going, we will start making of tools because we're going to run out of tools soon. Okay, good. They got 15 iron ore. Oh yeah, this one shows iron, which is not the same as ore. That's a processed product. Food's looking pretty good. Okay, what else? Oh, they're building the wood cutter. Okay, time to start looking at houses. I want to start with dock houses, which you can actually build on the land. But dock home, because they're so cheap, 38 wood, dock shanty 30, and yeah, I might as well make the better one. What's this? Four people, five people? Yeah, we'll make some of these. A little housing going. 
these guys can all have a house to live in. Hopefully. This guy's making tools. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. And then once the... Once our hunter gets some feathers... Any feathers yet, buddy? We got ten feathers. Then we can make survival coats, which are reeds and feathers. And that will build up tools and clothes. I got people standing around already. You can pick stuff. Oh, that's probably a little kid. Yeah, the children tend to wander around and just stand there. Yeah, he's pretty short. Okay, what do we got here? Mussel, seaweed, crayfish, oysters. Not bad. Fish, 138, 130. Cool. Doing pretty good on... 225 reeds, 240. Some 225, not bad. Dock storage, filling up pretty good. Okay, so we got uh, we got the chopper done. Which I'm gonna turn that off for now. Once we start burning through firewood, I'll put somebody on that. It's a pretty good start. You know, one thing. Wait, did they? Are we lagging already? Jeez. I'm gonna put two more builders. Get those houses going. Uh, one thing I could do. Uh, I'm not gonna do it yet, though. I'm gonna leave this over here. But I could destroy the boat so they stop coming over here. But we'll wait till we get some stuff built up over here first. Let's see here. Yeah, food's looking good. Let's get some more trees going. plenty to do already. Now one thing I want to get into pretty soon is storage markets and trade, uh, trade buildings, right here farm supplier, seeds and animals. Oh uh, and we need lumber for that which means we need a Sawmill. Let's see here. Unwing shed now. Ah, here we go. Lumber. Water wheel sawmill. That's the one I usually go with. These here are cheaper, but the nice thing about the water wheel is you can make lumber or firewood, and you can do it really fast. So I'm gonna build this. It's also pretty. <laughs> you know, pretty is important to us. So I'm gonna put this right here. Actually, yeah, right there. And I'm gonna build a bridge. Let's do the dock bridge, it's easiest. Got a dock bridge right across there. So we can get to this other side. Okay, let's 
see how these guys are doing. Gather. Oh, not bad. Some blueberries and seeds and stuff. Hunter. Bone meal. Duck meat. 200. That's helping out. Our food's going up. We started with 1200. We're up to 1300. Not bad. Tools. I think we're good on tools now. Let's switch you over to survival coats, which you will run out of quickly since we only have 10 feathers. And then we'll probably put you on fire bundles, which works, will save our logs from being made into firewood. Where the hell are all our builders at? Making houses over here eventually. Actually, now that we have tools, I'm going to start getting some roads going. Gravel road, country road. That should look good over here. some housing going finally. Who moved in? Gatherer, hunter, drudger, dock worker. Nice. Wow, 12 years old, starting out early. Uh, we gotta get a school going eventually. That's gonna be from the dock set. Town services. Uh, church. Dock trading post. Oh, we can make that one easy. Let's see, dock market, small market. Uh, where was it? School. There we go. Get some, uh, start educating the kids. Switch this guy over to fire bundles. Oh uh, yeah, we're starting to burn through wood now that we got houses going. So fire bundles will help. Oh, 
Well, let's get some priority on these houses. everybody in a house before we finish out this episode today. Somebody come shoot these deer. Yeah, we better have some venison going with all these deer walking around. duck meat. Come on now, what are we missing here? Logs. All we need is logs. We aren't out of logs, are we? removal stuff going on. So I am going to cancel removal over a very wide swath of everything. And then we're going to start new with getting some trees out of the way. Got it. There we go. Got two builders moving in. Good, so you can build right next to you. Oh, you know what? Another thing we need to get going is town services. A well. Four wood, 40 stone. Four wood, 40 stone. Because fires are inevitable. So let's put a well right here. Or right here. But we probably won't get fired on the first day, but once we get things going. Okay, we got four people left. Are they going to be able to fit in this house? We got four in there, two in there, uh, five in here. Oh, poor kid, they named him Colon. Burn Billion. Thirteen year old builders. I wonder it's going slow. They're probably spending all their time on their cell phones. Alright, everybody has a home now. Awesome. Okay, how are we doing on fire bundles? 122 fire bundles, nice. Kinda sucks it doesn't show up as fuel. But I know that that's what it's used for. Okay, 11 coats. You know, the next thing we're going to have to do is... Let's see, do we have any leather yet? No. OK, 
Okay, I am going to... Wait, what else are we building? Oh, the school. And the well. School. Ah, we must have... There's something else that we're building, and I don't remember what... Oh, the water well. Wheel. Water mill! And the bridge. Okay, cool. You know, I think also what I'm going to do is... Well, let's get roads going over here first. put a stockpile next to this. type things along the river here. So let's put it behind it. Make another 10 by 10. stacking wood over here. We're not full here, are we? No. The warehouse isn't full, is it? Once the lag stops. the shipwreck eventually. Well, it was a good start today. We got couple houses going. Food production is doing terrible. I think I'm going to, let's see, let's up the hunting. Three people on hunting. And we'll put three people on gathering. Leave two on builders, one on labor. And that's going to do it for this episode of Banished. 
Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Next time we will do a little more expanding, get this town growing, and uh, hopefully we can get that, uh, that trading dock going so we can start... Oh look, they're building a bridge finally. Get that trading dock going, then we can start getting into farming. That makes food production so much easier once you have animals and crops and stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.